Rocky Bellinger, I'm late to the party. Why do you all think Bernie has acknowledged the fact that his friend Tulsi Gabbard was cheated out of debating a stand with Tulsi? I wish he would have. He should have fought to have her on that stage. He should have said, there's another person still running. There's a woman. When, when Liz Warren dropped out and said, no more women, he, Bernie should have said, uh, Tulsi's yeah. running. Tulsi's still, there's still a woman in the race. Her name's Tulsi Gabbard. Um, she's a woman of color. But, you know, at the same time, like, I do understand that. And, you know, I, I feel like candidates should do that. But at the same time, they are still competing with each other. You yeah, know, I mean, yeah, but they're all I mean, running for president. I, I get that. The same job. I, in, in, in general, yes. But in this election, it was so clear everyone was against Bernie. And Tulsi was the only one. I mean, she kicked, she kicked ass that helped him when she was on the debate stage. When she left the debate stage... In the fall, it was noticeable. I mean, if it was just a debate where it was Joe Biden, Tulsi Gabbard, and Bernie Sanders, I feel like that would have the potential to just end Joe Biden's it political career. It would end it. And, and <laughs> like the right. two of them and him? The whole country would... Like every issue, he would just be a punching bag for the two of them. And you'd see them literally standing next to each other on screen. And the country would go... Bernie and Tulsi. That's it. Wait. And then Bernie minute. could be like, "Hey, you want to be VP gig?" Oh, she like, wants. What to, you had to say there? And all he had to do is just—he'd drop it in the middle of the conversation. Like, I agree with Tulsi. She'd make a great VP. And here's the thing about Joe. And everyone would go, "Whoa, wait a minute!" You know, that's what it, it could have. I mean, imagine she would have been there, and they would have been like, "Bernie Sanders, you commit to picking a woman VP?" And he's like, "Well, that depends." Hold on one sec, Tulsi. What are you doing for the next four years? Yeah, you. <laughs> You're busy. You got plans. <laughs> I was thinking, and she'd be like, "Yeah, it makes sense. All right." And then it's. Yeah, there. Boom. There wouldn't be any applause because there was no audience, but there'd be a lot of applause from people watching their TV at home, home. Right? It yeah. would have been like a movie, <laughs> like one of those good movies that have good endings, and it's the way it's supposed to be, and you know, everything, everybody lives happily ever after, and good things happen to good people. I would have stuck my head out my window, and I would have been like, "I'm mad as hell, and we're not gonna take it anymore." And like Kim would open <laughs> her book and be like, "It's gonna happen," and you'd be doing yoga, like it'd be amazing. It would have been an amazing moment. <laughs> It would have been amazing. The human race would have been saved. Yeah. It would have been good stuff. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing, many of you, every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.